I have the knife in my hand the whole time. I go, uh, I'm a people pleaser. You know, like I'll even put my own life at risk to like, this guy went to the store and got eggs for me. You know, like, uh, yeah, sure. We'll have some eggs. So we go in and the guy starts talking and then he just like all the other times I've been picked up, he starts opening up about how he was married. He has a bunch of children and then he figured out he was gay. Hey, I could see it. He, he knows we're on our way out. He's never going to see us. Let's just fucking let it on. You, you boys look so cute on the side of the road there last night. I, I'm so lonely. You don't know what it's like to be a queer guy in, in the deep south. Man, I, I, when I came out this morning and I saw you guys sleeping together, she looked so beautiful and perfect. And I'm like, oh my fucking God, dude. And then he says, I, I thought about just, you know, if you guys wouldn't mind if I just touched you a little bit. And I'm like, what the fuck? And so I said, yeah, we're, we're going we're gonna to leave now. So we just fucking booked it. And I don't know if he's done this before, but as we ran out, like I heard like the kid laughing and they're like oh tom they're trying to do it again or and i'm like oh fuck like this isn't the first time like